shot, Bubby. Bobby! Uh, what? Bobby! Uh, what? Bobby! That's my name. <laughs> uh. Now then, there, you're not out there goofing around when you're supposed to be putting the cans in the bags for the recycling drive, are you? Nope. And make sure you wear your father's gloves. Wear dad's work gloves? Gloves. Those are really cool gloves. Hold it, dweeb. You're too small to wear those gloves. Okay, so like the legend says, whoever pulls the gloves from the rock is our true king. I need these. Sorry, Bobby. I couldn't resist. You look so grown up in big gloves that don't fit. Maybe I shouldn't be in such a hurry to grow up. Come on, Bobby. Help us get all this stuff into your garage. Your uncle's coming to pick it up. What a mess. Jackie, it's throwaway stuff. It should look throw it away. Yeah, this is junk. <laughs> it doesn't get any respect. It's only junk if you're throwing it out, Rodney. We're helping to save the natural resources of our planet by recycling old things so they can be used over and over again. Look at all this stuff. We're gonna bring the most of stuff to school. Reminds me of that Yappy song. What are you saving that for? Yappy, he's my favorite. Mine too! I'm going to his show! Me too! My favorite song is Time for Sunscreen. Mine is It's No Fair! Mine's Stop Asking Why! You guys yapping about Yappy? Yappy's such a loser. He is not. They should call him Yucky. Uh -huh. Look, I'm not wasting my time arguing with pipsqueaks who think Yucky's cool. Mom wants you guys in the kitchen. Pronto. Oh, that's an oofta. Whoa! I could make cool spaceman stuff out of these. Yeah, or a birdhouse. Or a submarine. We can make a whole space station. Bobby! That's my name. <laughs> oh, honey, I know how you love to make stuff out of junk, but making stuff out of stuff doesn't get rid of stuff. So take all this stuff out, Ski, to be recycled there now then yet. Mom, you're not going to cycle a calendar, are you? No, hon. Because if you cycle a calendar, I won't know when to go to the Abbey concert. Oh, don't worry, hon. See, it's on Sunday, two days from today. Uh, right. I, I, I knew that. I was just checking to see if you knew. You guys take him back to the garage. I'll go see if Dad needs help. Wow. The attic ladder is down. Dad, Dad, Dad. Dad must need my help. I think he wants me to climb the ladder. My first time on a ladder. This could be my lucky day. Skydiving, water skiing, rock climbing. Welcome to Daring Young Professional Don't Do This at Home Thrill Seekers. Tonight, Thrill Seeker Bobby Generic. That's Generic. Generic will attempt to climb a ladder. <laughs> he sizes up the ladder. This is one small step for thrill seekers, one giant step for kids. Bobby, get off the ladder. Ladders are dangerous. I don't, I don't want you playing on them. What is it about being a parent that makes them take the fun out of everything kids want to do? Okay, take these to the garage, and, and be careful, they're full of styrofoam packing peanuts. You put them with the other ones in the garage. Boy, these gloves do make me strong. I can carry two bags. Now be careful where you put them in the garage. I'm still refinishing Grandma's antique end table. And those little buggers stick to everything. Careful. Easy. Watch it. did that on purpose. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, hey, how does this feel, huh? It feels 
feels like, uh, like... Time for a full fight! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you better stop that. You are gonna get in trouble. Like the abominable snowman. It's abominable snowman. Abdominal has something to do with your stomach. Yeah, that's what he said. Abdominable snowman. They're also called Yeti. They are. I am average, and that's okay. I do nothing special every single day. I have average dogs Not and average yappy, parents, Bobby. too. And yeti. if you don't try huh? so hard... What are you, you call me? Bobby! Yeah. I am average, Bobby, and look, look that's at you. okay. Look, look, look at this. Miss M Martha! <laughs> this is an ecological disaster! Grandma's antique table... I I have been working on this for weeks. Oh, for the cry eye, it's ruined. <laughs> hey, that looks like fun. Hey, can I play? Ted! Oh, hey, hey, that's your static electricity working there. Ted! I, I told you to be careful. Why can't you listen, Bobby? I can listen. I just forgot. 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 That table was an antique. It took me a week to refinish it. Now I have to redo the whole thing. Well, Jackie was doing it too. Oh, and I suppose if Jackie jumped off a bridge, that would make it okay for you to jump too? Dad, there are no bridges around here. It's an expression! Well, Bobby, you're gonna have to pay the consequences. Pay the consequences? Hi, we're the Consequences. This is Marvin and I'm Hannah. I think you owe us some money. Yes, you are going to be punished severely, young man, for playing with things you were told not to. You will owe me three hours of chores to make up for my lost time. You will not be able to watch the Captain Squash special on TV. And there will be no yappy concert. Three punishments? That's no fair. I only did one thing wrong. I'm telling your mom on you. That's right, Grandma Evie. Three punishments. That's it's no fair. Well, Bobby, three punishments is a bit much. But he's your dad, and what he says goes. There's nothing you can do? I'm sorry you got into trouble but you're going to have to pay the piper. Pay the piper, too? I already had to pay the consequences. He's paying the piper <laughs> consequences. Oh, dear. <sighs> it's no fair, Webley. Kids are always in trouble. I sure wish I could see my parents get in trouble for once. <laughs> we are. I'm the dishwasher. And I'm the dish dryer. <laughs> and you are. It's me, it's Bobby. Don't you recognize me? Oh, sure he does. It's just that little Howard has so many friends, it's hard to keep track of them all. Little Howard, get down here and take out the garbage. Oh, there you are, son. Dad, you're you're a kid. My wish came true. I'm back in the olden days when my dad was a little boy. This is great! How come you're wearing brand new school clothes on a Saturday? I'm just trying them on to make sure they fit. Hey, what time is it? I know! It's time for Nookies! Oh, what 
What's that? A loogie. Oh, I'll have to remember that. <laughs> hey, I like your new friend. He seems like a lot of fun. Oh, is it 10 o'clock yet? Oh, that's when the library opens on Saturday. I came over to see if you wanted to go with me. And my friend Teddy here reads all the time because when he grows up, he's going to be a doctor. Why don't you get that, Bobby? Nice kid, Howard. Yeah, I guess. Huh? Wow. What are you doing here? We live across the street. You lived across the street from Dad? I mean, Howard? I didn't know that. It's so great to see a new face. You're cute. So, so, so are you. For, for an ad. <laughs> what was that for? That was for all the times you're going to do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see my pet frog, Roger? I've got a collection, don't you know? Roger. 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 Wow. My mom had a frog collection. It's part of my extra credit report. I want good grades so when I grow up, I can have my own career. I bet you're going to be a housewife with three kids and some twins. But what do I know? What a weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to play water tag with the hose? Yeah. Oh, but don't you have chores to do? Like, take out the garbage? Too bad. Boy, if you could find a way to get out of those. Wait. I've got an idea. Come on. Remember, no going outside until your chores are finished, Howard. I know. I'm just taking out the garbage, Mom. I think that is so neat. Your little friend, what's his name, helping you with the chores. Hey, who wants to play water tag? <gasps> but what about the trash and all your other chores? What are you, my dad? Boy, have you got that turned around. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, summer vacation's almost over. Parents don't understand that kids like having fun. I never knew my dad was so smart. Okie dokie, count me in, Ski. Oh, me too, I love water tag. Sure, what could possibly happen? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Howard? Howard? Told you we'd get in trouble. Your new pants got torn on the thorn bush. So? I hate pants anyway. But, but how are you ever gonna grow up and be in the pants business if you hate pants? Whoever said I'd grow up and be in the pants business? I'm going to be a professional golfer. Why don't you wear this one? Wow, I love this shirt. <laughs> Your glasses don't go with this shirt. You mean you're not going to be serious anymore? Hey, since I've met you, I'm thinking maybe my destiny is to be more of a party animal. Time for noogies, Bobby. You can call me Bobo. <laughs> Thanks, Bobo. Hey, look at this old piece of junk. Ooh, wonder how much I can get for it. Yes, Mrs. Knutzenberger's fan. Okay, if that's how you feel. My little Howard is a bad influence on your little Martha, and you never want him to see her again. Fine with me. I'm that mad, too. Am I in trouble? I'll say you're in trouble, Mr. Torn Pants. You're in big trouble. Yes. I mean, I... yes, it's, it's no fair. You're going to learn that your actions have consequences, young man. No seeing Martha anymore. And for ruining your new good school pants, no Elvis concert for you. You're grounded for life. Triple punishment? That's no fair. I only did one thing wrong. I know just how it feels. 
and feels pretty good. Grounded for life? It's no fair! That's what Yappy sings in a song. Who cares? I want to see Elvis. You're mean. I hate you. Someday I hope that you have children and they treat you just the way you treat us. Well, I promise if I do ever have kids, I'm not going to give them a triple punishment. I guess he forgot about that one when he grew up. Boy, Dad's in trouble. Now he knows what it's like. Wait, Ronda for life. If he never sees Martha again, they can't be my parents. Yikes! I gotta help my dad. Or he won't be my dad. Excuse me. Bobby? It's a little late for you to be here. See, um, Howard feels so bad about what happened, he couldn't face you. So he told me to tell you that he feels real sorry and he's learned his lesson. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, and, uh, to show he takes responsibility for what he did, he says he'll pay for the pants he ruined. And how's he going to earn this money? Uh, he said, because it was pants he ruined, he'd go work for, uh, uh... The, the tailor? Yeah, that's it, the tailor guy. Well, I must say I'm impressed with Howard. I guess he has learned his lesson. Bobby, you tell Howard that because he apologized and he's willing to pay for the ruined trousers, I'm going to reduce his punishment. He's not grounded for life. And I guess he can still see Martha. Yes! He can go see Elvis! No, no, uh -uh, I'm sorry. He still can't go to the Elvis concert. Uh, okay. Guess that's fair enough. I did it! Well, almost. Now I gotta go tell little Howard about the deal I made. But that's the easy part. What? You told him what? Are you kidding? I'd rather never see Martha again than not see Elvis! Did I say easy? Okay. Okay, look. You got me out of a triple punishment. So what do you want me to do? Okay. Promise when you grow up and have kids, you'll never, ever give a triple punishment. <sighs> when I grow up, have kids, Sure, yeah, whatever, okay. Bobby! Bobby! Breakfast! Wow, Webley. I just dreamed I was back in the olden days with my dad and mom. It was a pretty good dream. Bobby, I've reconsidered your punishments. Because you made such a mess, you still owe me three hours of cleaning up, and until it's repaid, no TV. So, young man, looks like you'll get to go to the yappy concert after all. No triple punishment? Just like you promised when you were a kid. How'd you know that? How, 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 do, you, how do you know that? Whoa, well, you know that son of yours. It's probably just something he dreamed up. Dreamed up? That's a good one. <laughs> How you doing, Bobby? I'm keeping track of the time. Ooh. Okay, Dad. How much time have I worked? 30 seconds. Oh, that's all? Seems like an eternity. Ted. Now I know how fast time goes when you're not having fun. Bobby, come in and get cleaned up. You have to leave for the Yappy concert soon, you lucky boy. All right! Because it's no fair! Everybody! It's no fair! Everybody! It's no fair! Boy, this is great! I'm glad everything is back to normal. Normal? You still owe me two hours and 45 minutes, young man. Boy, parents never forget. Parents never forget. Oh. Parents never forget. Oh. Is Yappy good or what?